super glue. Hey, Smarty Pants, are you here for Bucky? Yeah, my shovel broke. Yeah, well, my skateboard snapped. Um, I think Bucky can fix it. Of course I can fix it. What's the matter? Not a problem. Just a drop of my super glue, and they will be as good as new. Here you go, and don't mention it. Wait, but I was here first. And I took it first. Look what you've done! Uh, it was an accident. Now calm down. All we need is my super solvent. Even though it doesn't exist yet. But by evening, I'll invent it. For now, just have to be patient. I bet it'll hit it to the left. Uh, I think it'll be right. I need a second. No. Doing something together is impossible. So what do we do? I've got it. We'll draw straws. Whoever picks the long straw will decide what to do until the evening. That sounds reasonable. Fine, you decide. Let's go digging, of course. Wow, where did you get this technology? Bucky built it. Do you really like collecting all this stuff? Stuff? This is a samurai sword's hilt. It is? Yes, it is. And this is the key to an old castle. And that's a dinosaur bone. Seriously? A real one? Of course. While digging, you can find many things. idea was so interesting to dig in the ground. <laughs> you bet. Well, enough for today. Let's go home. Oh, looks like the button is jammed. How will we get back up? Hmm. How about a skateboard? Hop on! Uh, me? But I've never been on a skateboard before. It's so scary. Absolutely amazing! So is the digging! Ugh, I couldn't find you anywhere! The solvent is ready! Give me your hands! Now you're free! You can do whatever you want! Will you show me your collection? And you will teach me to ride a skateboard! It's a deal! <laughs> <laughs>
phone. So, a favorable wind. The horizon is clear. Helmsman, 40 degrees left. Aye, aye, 40 degrees left. Cook, how's our lunch doing? Almost ready, Captain. Carry on. Boatswain, lower the sails. Boatswain! I can't even have a rest. You'll rest when I say you can. If everyone keeps resting when they feel like it, we won't get anywhere. I don't need to get anywhere. I'm fine right here. Sammy, don't be lazy. You wanted to be the boatswain. How was I supposed to know what that meant? Ugh. All right. Tired of these guys? If only I could be alone somewhere. Wow. Where am I? We've already arrived? Bucky! Bjorn! Granny! Nobody. Wait. Am I alone on the island? Oh, right, finally! Well, time to have a snack. Looks yummy. Ugh, I can't eat this. Ugh, even worse. How disgusting. Ugh, if only Bjorn were here, he knows how and what to find. Oh, I should catch a fish. It's definitely delicious. It. Oh well, I can't do it without Franny. I need to find a place to sleep. At least I'm good at this. Bucky would have built an entire house in a flash. All right, I'll sleep here, I guess. Ah! Don't be afraid, Sammy, you're alone on this island. Nothing's trying to harm you. enough. Maybe you should just take a nap. No, no. I, I want to help. We're a team. A team, you say? Hmm. I have an idea. It's even faster this way. Totally. Well, Sammy, are you tired? Nope. With friends, everything's easier and more fun.
the memory eraser. Well, can't I just have one piece? No, we have to wait for Bucky. Oh, here he is. Guys, take a look at what I invented here. A memory vision. Awesome. What is it? It's very simple. For example, what did you have for breakfast yesterday? Oh, I don't remember. Well, we'll just take a look at your memory and find out. You had a cupcake! Oh, yes! A cupcake with chocolate! Now if we delete the memory... Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. Tell me again what you had for breakfast. Oh, I forgot again. And now we'll bring it back. I remember! Cupcake! How about that? The device isn't really finished yet. Oh, never mind. Where's that pie of yours? Hey, you ate the whole pie by yourself? It wasn't me. Oh, really? Well, well. I still have those sausages left over. Let's fry them over a fire. A picnic! That's a great idea! Only we're not taking Sammy with us. Until he says he's sorry. Uh, I'd really like some sausages. Hmm. With this, I won't have to say I'm sorry. <laughs> sleeping. All together. Great! Now they'll forget who ate the pie. Well, come on! Okay, let's check. Hi, guys! Hey, Sammy! Coming with us? Of course! <laughs> <laughs> it's not burning. I don't think I remember how to light a fire. Bucky, what's wrong? To start a fire, you first have to place the smaller twigs. <sighs> That's right. How strange. Always knew it and just suddenly forgot. Well, Franny, bring the sausages. What are you doing? I'm sorry. I just forgot how to. So what are we going to eat now? Yeah, the picnic didn't work out. Oh well, let's go home. Are we going the right way? Don't you worry. With Bjorn, we can't get lost. Um, looks like I forgot the way. Well, uh, why don't we try going in a different direction? Uh-oh. There's nowhere we can go. And now what? And now we're sinking. What do we do, Bjorn? Hmm, I don't remember. I guess I forgot everything. Yeah, it looks like I erased all of their memories. How do I get them back? I remember what to do. Rug, rug, rug. You froggies. Well, there we go. We're almost home. Sammy, why do you have my memory vision? I used it to make you forget you're angry at me. That explains why we forgot everything. Yeah, it only made things worse. Please forgive me. Dangerous invention. I'll just turn it into something different. I remember. I still have some jam left over at home. Follow me. 
amazing animal. And up there in the north, the sun stays up for half a year at a time. When this happens, we call it a polar day. That's, That's so cool! You wouldn't believe the flower that I once managed to grow. The petals were this huge, and the stem taller than me. Incredible! Oh, amazing! In that time when I went to space, there were these cool comets with three tails, and all of them were glowing. How, How about, about that? that? Well, Sammy, tell us a cool story. It's your turn. Uh, well, I have to say, all your stories are really boring. What I've seen once was a real wonder. It was a cloven hoof winged tiger deer. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? That's hilarious! <laughs> I know! A winged tiger deer! <laughs> you don't believe me? All right, then. So, one more soccer match? I'm sick of it. Maybe go for a swim? Uh. Hey, guys! I think I found something. <laughs> there! Oh, wow! That looks so strange. Those are hoof marks. I've never seen anything like that. What have you found here? Some kind of tracks. Really weird. There's nothing weird about them. Regular tracks left by a tiger deer. Oh, and these are its feathers. Well, they do seem to have tiger stripes. These could be anyone's feathers. Check it out. There are antlers. That makes sense. That's what the tiger deer does at this time of year. It sheds its antlers. Tracks, feathers, antlers. Hmm. Still don't believe me? Since the tiger deer exists, we simply have to study it. That's right. And the findings can go in my museum. Okay, that sounds great. Brilliant. We're just getting started. I wonder, what does its tail look like? I would guess tigerish. Hmm. Or maybe deerish. We'll find that out soon enough. Wow! I wish we could get a closer look at it. I have an idea. We should lure it with food. I wonder, though, what does he eat? Apparently, what the tiger deer likes most is candy. Hi, everyone. So, are you tired yet of chasing the tiger deer? By the way, I heard that it likes eating cakes even more than candies. Anyway, I'm off. Did you hear that? He likes cakes. Hmm. He likes cakes? So we're going to use a cake to catch it. Here it comes. Ha! We gotcha! We can send the tiger deer off to a zoo now! Hey! I don't like zoos! Let me out of here! Oh, the tiger deer's voice. It sounds so familiar. Is it actually Sammy? It means there are no tiger deers after all? Of course there aren't. <laughs> It's a pity there are no tiger deers. Yeah. It was so much fun to chase it. All right, the tiger deer is made up. But what does exist is a flipper-legged porcupine. Oh, wow. That's incredible. Is that true? Tomorrow we'll go on an expedition. Tinker!
Joker. All right. And now a bit of duct tape. Well, Sonia, we'll see now who can make the biggest soap bubbles. Hi, Sammy. What are you building over there? Hello. This is a really cool device. I call it a bubble blowing machine. The best of its kind, and by the way, the only one. Okay then, show us what it's capable of. All right, brace yourselves, cause you're gonna see the biggest soap bubbles in the world. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I've seen bigger ones before. That's, that's just, the thing is. I know what's going on. You've made this part too tight, and this one too loose, and these two parts have been put in the wrong places all together. There! Bravo, Bucky Bear! Bucky, you have a real talent. It's easy to find faults in the work of others, but can you make this kind of machine from scratch yourself? Me? Piece of cake! There you go. That's what I call a soap bubble making machine. Awesome! I'll go get my friends! here, I'd show him how it should be done. And here he is! Well, Sammy, you're about to see that there's absolutely nothing Bucky cannot do. Oh, uh, there's a malfunction, but it was working just now. <laughs> just a second, I'll fix it. I don't understand what's wrong. Let me have a look. I did more than just fix your machine. I've also added some interesting features to it. Wow! So cool! But that's how I designed it to be! Of course you did. You couldn't even make it produce regular bubbles. Bucky, don't get so upset. I believe that one day you will also make it work. How about we throw a party for Sammy the Master? Everyone's invited to my place! Sammy, tell us, how did you come up with the idea of cubicle bubbles? Well, I kind of thought that round soap bubbles are just so last century. Oh, the oven's broken. I guess there won't be any pies. Franny, you forgot. We have Sammy with us, a master of all trades. He'll fix everything in no time. Me? Yeah, sure. That's right. Well, that's what I thought. It's pretty clear. Sammy, do something! One moment. Ouch! Bucky, Franny's oven is going out of control! Can you help? Oh, could it be that the Master Sammy cannot handle it himself? I'm not a master at all. You know that. I lied to everyone. I'm sorry. That's okay. It's not our friend's fault. Let's go! <laughs> all done! Bucky? Who else would it be? Did you really think that Sammy suddenly learned how to fix things? I'm sorry. I was the one who made Bucky's machine break down. And cubicle bubbles weren't really my idea. Oh, Sammy, you're such a tinker. Don't worry, I can teach you a couple of tricks. Really? Of course! Only not on an empty stomach. Who's to blame? 
My serve! Take this! I'll take it! Sonia, didn't I tell you? Take it! Time out! Important news! A new movie is airing today on television about super bears! That's great! Let's gather at your place tonight. Uh, but my couch isn't big enough. We won't fit on it. Well, I don't even have a television. And I live underground. The signal is very weak. And we've lost the remote. Which was totally your fault. How about we build a gigantic TV screen? It will be like a movie theater, only in the open air. Comfortable and enough room for everyone. That's a great idea, Franny. Yeah, totally. Only there's not much time. We really need to hurry. <laughs> came from me. But that was by accident. Bjorn scattered the tools all over the place, and I tripped because I didn't have my glasses on. I didn't scatter anything. It's just that Bucky should be more careful with the skate. And then Val wouldn't have lost his glasses. I stepped on that skate by accident. Guys, guys, stop fighting. What we should do is... Anyway, Sammy, what was your skate doing there? What was my skate doing there? I used it to bring the speakers. You just need to watch where you step. Actually, I saw Chicky pushing the skate. So that's who did all this. You can't just blame everything on Chicky. You shouldn't have left him without supervision. Exactly! Isn't it your little pet? Ugh, I should have watched the movie on my own. I could be sitting at home now. You know, nobody's keeping you here. I won't make it home now because of you all. Only one minute left to the movie! Oh, look at that. The guys have fixed almost everything. Unbelievable! How'd they do it? Easy. While we were arguing here, they got it done. I see. This is embarrassing. We should go help them. Uh-huh. Of a tight knit team? That's right, and nothing good comes out of arguing. Yay! Yay! Ooh, right on time. Who wants popcorn? I, I do! I do! Me too! Real friends. 
Come on, fish. Take the bait. Finally! There you go, fishy. Uh, it's just some rubbish again. And what is this? Ice cream! A whole box of it! I am so lucky. Hi there, fisherman. How's it going? Wonderful. Well, actually, all I caught is a piece of wood. Just a piece of wood, you say? And what's that behind your back? Uh, nothing. Oh, come on, show me! Wow, what's inside? Don't touch it! And why is that? Because I said so! You're just mean. A real friend would never do something like that. Enjoy your fishing. Hmm, a real friend would never... But what does it mean, a real friend? Hi there, Bjorn. What are you doing? Hello, Bucky. I'm just picking berries. Help yourself. I'll be happy to. No, wait. Have some of these instead. They're sweeter. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think I ate them all. Nothing's too good for a friend. Nothing's too good. Mm -hmm. Look, Sonia. I got myself a new dress. Oh, it looks so pretty. I want one just like that. Really? Yeah, very much. So just take it then. Oh, no, no! What about you? Take it. It looks better on you anyway. Thanks, Franny. You're a real friend. A real friend. All right then. The comet to candy converter is finally ready. The comet's estimated time of arrival is one minute. Bucky, I really need your help. Franny, not right now. I'm on the verge of an amazing discovery. But you see, my TV set has stopped working, and my favorite cartoon is about to start. Ah, uh, well, since it's your favorite. Bucky, you are a real friend. Hmm. <laughs> I understand now how real friends are supposed to behave. Ha! It's so stupid! Well, they can do all those things if they want. Are you alright? <coughs> My throat is really sore. Oh no! Well, you're not going to Franny's party in this date. I'll be back. like that. Uh, if I would have shared ice cream with everyone, I wouldn't be sick now. Surprise! Surprise! What are you doing here? What about the party? Sonia told us that you got very sick, so we decided that the party can wait. Yeah, real friends are always there for you, not only when things are good, but when things go bad, too. Thank you so much. You know, I feel really bad. I found a whole box of ice cream and ate it myself. Look at that! Sammy got his normal voice back! Then let's have a party to celebrate Sammy's getting better! Yes! Security system. 
Watch out, Bucky! I'm coming forward! Sure! Try and pass me! Someone! Please help! Bjorn Bear! Did you hear that? Uh, yeah. It sounds like Franny. Uh... Hello? Anyone here? Please help me! Over there! There she is! Hey, Franny! We're coming! So what happened here? You know, I wanted to pick some apples for a pie, but the ladder fell down, and now I'm stuck up here. Well, this is very easy to fix. Thank you, guys. It was really great that you were cycling by. That's true. But what would have happened if we weren't here to help, huh? Yorn is right. Oh, I've got an idea. We need a security system in case something like this happens again. Bucky Designs are happy to present their Art of the State technology. Oh, I mean, State of the Art technology. Anyway, you're looking at the Security System Guardian 3000. Whoa! That's exactly what I was thinking! So how does this thing work? Guardian 3000 will be hovering in the sky and watching everyone. And if someone ends up in a dangerous situation, it'll instantly run to the rescue. Maybe we should all just be more careful? And then there will be no need for any Guardian. Nonsense! The machine will take care of us better than we can! That's a lot of honey! I'm going to have a nice meal. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm leaving already. Incredible! Thank you so much, Wonder Machine! Bucky was right! Sammy, look! A snake! Where? Over there! Straight ahead! Oh, it's just a piece of driftwood. Turn around, quickly! Sammy, we're sinking! Well, that was close. We got lucky. What a great drone! So what? It's gonna save us every time? Let's find that out! I'm droning! Help me! Cool! Let's go on the Ferris wheel! Come on, Franny! That's boring! Instead, let's have a ride on the highest roller coaster! Did you turn it on at the highest speed? That's right! We'll go as fast as the wind! But this is really dangerous! Nonsense! With my security system, there's nothing to be scared of! Hop in! No! I'm not going! Well, that's your choice. In that case, pull that lever! You should fasten your seatbelts first! Franny, come on! Start it already! Oh, awesome! It looks like we got stuck. How come? Where's our guardian? Over there. I guess his battery must be dead. Good thing we had our seatbelts fastened. Absolutely. Hey, guys! Try not to move! I'm gonna find a way to get you down! Franny, you were right. With this security system, we completely forgot that we should be careful. Yeah, new technologies are a great thing. But it's better to always stay on guard. Winter is here. 
Taking mocks and playing games when there's sunny weather. Hello, Bjorn. What are you doing? Cleaning my skis. What now? <laughs> are you kidding me, Bjorn Bear? It's so warm outside. Yeah, but not for much longer. The winter is coming, and judging by the signs, it's gonna be quite cold. Judging by what signs? Look up there. The birds are flying to warmer climates. It means it's gonna get cold soon. Also, the pine cones have become large, and there's a lot of mountain ash. Everything says that we're going to have a cold winter. Your stupid signs are nonsense. The most accurate forecast comes from my weather station. Knowledge won't fail us. Let's find out the weather for the next couple of days. Whoa! The winter is coming. I told you so. Coincidence. Nothing more than that. Look, guys. Winter's around the corner. We should get ready for it. I agree. Bunch of buzzkills. Let's go play ball instead. The weather's still warm. It's Franny. I'm not cold at all. Yeah, but I'm starting to get a little bit hungry. I have all kinds of food stored for the winter. Me too. Great. Mm, bring it all to my place. Let's eat in the warm. I built an awesome house heating machine. It's so warm. And so delicious. Uh, it's so cold. And so hungry. Maybe it's warmer outside? Ah, it's even worse. We need to put on more clothes. This will not keep us warm. I know. Let's eat something. It'll make us warmer. Want some? Um, I don't feel like it. Me neither. It's probably very warm now at the Bears and Franny's. I'm sure it is. They've been preparing for the winter. Shall we ask to join them? Would anyone like some more jam? Yeah, I can never say no to more jam. The weather is just wonderful. So guys, shall we go outside again? Yes, let's go out and make a snowman. I think the snowmen came to visit us themselves. Can we come in to get warm? Pretty please? Thanks so much, you guys. We'd be done if it weren't for you. If you want to make it through the winter, you need to start preparing in the fall. Do you understand it now? We, we do. do. We promise to do our best to prepare for the summer. Well, there's no doubt about that. <laughs> <laughs> Monster. 
Oh, I don't think I could eat anymore. Well, if even Bucky is full, then the picnic has been a success. Oh, I think that it's starting to rain. That's right. So let's clean up the garbage and go home. Oh, come on. We'll do it next time. We don't want to stay here and get caught in the rain. And besides, I'm exhausted. The garbage won't go anywhere. Yeah, some other time. And what about the campfire? <sighs> Finally! We get some good weather. I love having picnics. Yeah, I really miss those hot dogs roasted on the campfire. Unbelievable! Someone has completely trashed our favorite picnic spot. That someone was us. That's right. We decided to clean up the trash some other time. Exactly. So let's get down to work. We can clean it up after the picnic. Otherwise, we'll be too tired. Bucky has a point. We just need to find another place. It's not cool sitting among garbage. I think under that tree there's a cool spot. But after the picnic, we definitely need to clean up. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Everyone's well rested. It's time for cleaning. All right, all right, let's go. That's a whole lot of trash. And there's another pile. How about we just put all the garbage in one big pile? It's gonna be our forest landfill. We'll trash the whole forest like that. Nature relies on us for protection. Come on, Bjorn, don't be so boring. We need some place to store all the garbage, and one landfill wouldn't do much harm to your precious nature. Follow me, guys. What should I do? Take this spinner! Ugh! Sammy, your Butterfingers! I can't even see the ball. It's dark already. We should just stop playing and go home. Sammy's right. Have a good night, everyone. Oh, wh what is that thing? I think it must be some kind of monster. Ah! I am the garbage monster, and I came to get you all! Ha 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 ha! You can't run away! I'm going to eat you all! You shouldn't have left garbage in the forest! What do we do now? I think... We all need to apologize. That's right. Uh, forgive us, garbage monster. We'll clean it all up. Yeah, we won't leave trash behind ever again. You promise? We, we promise. promise. All right then, but I'm watching you. I don't know about you, but in the morning, I'll start cleaning. Not that hard. So where do we throw the new garbage? Over here. This one's for plastic, this one's for glass, and this one's for paper. And where does this go? There's one promising idea. All I need to do is invent a waste recycling machine. It'll turn garbage into different useful things. That's so cool. All right, shall we have a race? Tough pie. 
啦啦啦啦啦啦啦。Hurry up! Don't wait till the pies get cold. Even if they do get cold, they'll still be delicious. This one has fruits in it, and this one's with berries. So many delicious things. Ugh, it's a pity I only have one stomach. Whoop! Check out what I can do! Oops, didn't get the trick right. Oh, yeah? I'm gonna show you an even better trick. That's it, sister. You've asked for it. Sammy? Sonia? Stop it now! That's it! You just lost your spoon privileges and your share of pies. If you want to goof around, go outside! And so we will, since we're not allowed to have fun anymore. Hm. There! Sammy and Sonia ruined everything! And I worked so hard! Please, Franny, don't get so upset. We'll teach him a lesson. I've got an idea. <laughs> Sammy, I'm starting to get hungry. Yeah, me too. Hi there, players. You want to go grab a bite? Sure. sure. We're going to my place. For some tea and pie. What kind of pie? And where is it? It's almost ready. I just need a little bit of help. Well, if it's just a little bit... It's nothing. Just clean a cooking pot. <sighs> I think that's it. Oh, I'm absolutely starving right now. Bucky, just serve your pie already. Sure. There's only one little thing. We need to make dough. What, what do you mean, mean dough? Dough for the pie. It's very quick. Well, if it's quick... Bucky, you forgot. To make a pie, we also need berries. That's right. Look, guys, berries are the key. Well, if berries are the key... Great. We can now put it in the oven. Half an hour, and it's ready. Half, Half an, an hour? hour? In the meantime, you can set the table. been so tired in my life. Me neither. Here we are. You're right on time. The pie's ready. I'm so hungry. Finally. Bucky, Bjorn, what do you guys think about having a pie fight? Hey, seriously? We've been working the whole day to make this pie. This is not a toy. As I recall, you had a lot of fun playing with food. Yeah, even destroyed all the pies Franny baked for us. We didn't know back then how difficult it is to make pies. Yeah, we're sorry, Franny. Okay, we're cool. All right, shall we finally try your pie? This is the best thing I've ever tasted. I know. Of course, it's because you've worked on it yourselves. 